All right, we're on Math Pace 1086, and I want to talk about a very unique topic, base two. Uh, actually, in all the algebra classes I've taught in 30 years, I've never taught base two. We've never covered it. Um, it is a, it is an, it is a, it is an actual math um, concept that is used a lot in the computer industry, and. Um, it's called bits and zeros, and computers use this language. It's not that hard to understand, but it is very different, okay? So it's not difficult, just different. Um, <clears throat> when we take a number, let me illustrate this first with a number like, let's say, 325. We use a decimal system where this column represents ones. This is actually tens. And then the third place value is hundreds. So in expanded form, we would say this is 3 times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 1 times 5. I should say 5 times 1. <laughs> but anyways, you get what I'm saying. This is expanded. So you're taking the place value times the digit that's in that place. And then if you added them all up, you would have the number. All right, let me erase that. With binary numbers, the first number is 2 to the 0, which is 1. So 1 is 1. Okay, that's easy. The number 2 that we're used to as a, you know, just counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 actually kicks it over into here, and I have one digit in the second column. So it would look like one, zero, okay? So that I have a two plus I have a zero. So this is not really read as 10. This would be one, zero to the base two, okay? Now the number three would then be a two plus a one, okay? So it would look like what we would think of as an 11, all right, but it's not really. It's 1, 1 to the base 2. Now, if I add one more, what do I get when I add 1 to this? When I add one more, it's going to increase this and make it a 2, which bumps it up here. But now, that's going to bump up, okay, from being 3 all the way up to here. So the number 4 looks like 1, 0, 0. Okay, four, and then with zeros, okay, base two. So we can keep going counting this way, and uh, five would be a four and a one. Six would be one, one, zero. Seven would be adding up four plus two plus one, so it would be one, one, one. All right. <laughs> Let's take a number like 1101. Try to figure out what would that be in base two. So that would be a 1 here in the fourth place, a 1 in the third, a 0, and a 1 here. So we want to figure out what would the value be in the standard decimal numbers that we are familiar with. So we would add 8 plus 4 plus nothing here plus 1. All right? So that would be 13. Okay? Not too bad, huh? Like I said, it's very different. It just is not hard, all right? Let's take this big number, 101010. Uh, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So we would add 32, not 16, plus 8, plus 2, okay? 32 plus 8 is 40, plus 2 would be 42. Are you starting to follow that? Okay, kind of catch on to that. <clears throat> now, let's go the other direction. Let's say we start with a number like 27 in the decimal system that we're accustomed to, and we want to go to this new base 2. So we take the 27 and we look at all these numbers. Oh, it's going to be less than this. But we definitely are going to have a digit here in the 16s place. Okay? 
So let's subtract 16. What do we get? 11. Mm, yep, I'll have a digit here because that would represent 8. So I can subtract 8, and I'm left with 3. So would I have a digit here? No. But 3, I can put a, oops, not a 2. Sorry about that. Put a 1 there, and that represents a 2. Subtract, and I do have a 1 left. So let's go back and add it up. This says I have a 16 plus an 8 plus a 2 plus a 1. 8 plus 2 is 10. 6 plus 1 is 7, so that's 17. Carry the 1, 27. Okay, we got it. Let's do another example. Let's take the number 50, and I want to follow the same process, okay? So I'm going to let me erase these. And I think it's helpful when you're doing this to keep referring back to the chart or uh, just learn how to draw one real fast on scrap paper. And uh, even like on your checkups and self-tests and pace tests, you can draw something like this and then plug in the number. So let's take the number 50. That's less than 64, so I don't need this column. But I will put a number here, okay, 32. So I'm going to subtract and get 8, 18. I, I can definitely subtract 16 from that, and now I bring down the 2. So no 8, no 4, but I do have a 1 and then a 0. So I would say that this is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, base 2. All right, are you beginning to catch on to, uh, to how that works? We've covered both directions. We've gone from um, base 2 to standard numbers, and we've gone from standard numbers to base 2. All right, again, this is a great page, uh, set of pages to just do a few problems. Stop, check your work against the score key, and then when you know that you're on the right track, then go back and uh, finish the page. Hopefully this helps you.